Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the opportunity to rise today to speak to Bill S-217, known as Wynn's Law. I'd like to start by offering my sincere condolences to the, and sympathies to Constable David Wynn's widow, Shelley McInnes Wynn, and her entire family. I'd also like to thank the member for St. Albert Edmonton for his tireless work on Wynn's Law. He's done an incredible job. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, when Constable uh, Wynn was shot and killed in the line of duty, it pointed to a dangerous loophole in the Canadian justice system. His killer, Sean Wren, was a career criminal who was out on bail. His killer was granted bail despite the fact that he had more than 50 prior criminal convictions, 38 outstanding charges, as well as arrest warrants for failing to appear in court. Incredible. It seems unreal that an accused with this type of criminal record would be granted bail. But we know now that his extensive criminal history was not brought to the attention of the person presiding over his bail hearing. Shameful. While it's common practice that the prosecutor provide a judge or a justice of the peace with a bail applicant's criminal history, it is not legally required. It's difficult to imagine that Sean Wren would have been granted bail and had his full criminal history been disclosed. It's an absolute tragedy that Constable Wynn had to die. His death could have been prevented. As I've said, this tragedy points to a serious loophole in our criminal code that must be addressed. The safety and security of Canadians should be the priority for any government, any government. So we can't go back and prevent the death of Constable Wynn, but we can respond in the present by closing the loophole that led to his death. And I believe that Wynn's law is the logical response to this tragic, tragic event. Wynn's law would require prosecutors to disclose a bail applicant's criminal history at a bail hearing. Very simple. It would also mandate that failures to appear in court must be disclosed. This legislation introduced a simple measure that has the potential to save lives and increase public safety. My constituents in the neighboring riding of Edmonton Griesbach have been very vocal in support of this bill. Many have told me at community events that they strongly support passing this legislation. I've also received written feedback from hundreds of constituents regarding Wynn's Law. So, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to share some of the feedback that I've received from my constituents on Wynn's Law. Doris wrote to me to say, it's only common sense that previous charges be included in bail hearings, especially in cases where there is a long record of breaking laws and ignoring court dates. Mm -hmm. Stanley wrote to me to say, it will help stop innocent lives from being taken by dangerous criminals. Plus, a lot of lives could have been saved if this law had been in effect long ago. Jeannie wrote me to say, I find it criminal not to pass this law. Shame on the Liberals. Do the right thing. Kathy wrote me to say, Wynn's law is a must. Susan wrote me to say, judges can't make proper decisions without full disclosure of criminals' history. Get this law put in. Police and public safety should always come before a dangerous criminal. 
Mr. Speaker, I can't stress enough to this House that these are real people with real feedback. I'm speaking for them. Bob wrote me to say, this constable win could be any one of us. Mm -hmm. The judge definitely needs to be aware of a criminal's past history in order to bring about a fair judgment. Wendy wrote me to say, judges need full disclosure of the criminal's past in order to make a decision that is best for society, not for the criminal. Daryl wrote me to say, not passing this law is irresponsible and an insult to law-abiding citizens. Yes. Herb wrote me to say, Wynn's law should be passed immediately. I hear you, Herb. Glenn wrote me to say, Wynn's law should have been done years ago. Al wrote me to say, Wynn's law, it's a no-brainer, Bill. Perhaps that last comment summar summarizes it the best. Mm -hmm. Wynn's law is a common sense piece of legislation. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. Our judges and justices of the peace cannot be expected to make a fair ruling in a bail hearing without all the relevant facts. Exactly. Again, Mr. Speaker, Wynn's law, it's just, it's a no-brainer. My constituents get it. Canadians across the country get it. So why don't the Liberals get it? It's time this Liberal government put safety and security of law-abiding Canadians ahead of criminals. Thank you very much. Well done, no.